Well, that is just a quote generated by ChatGPT. In fact, much of the script in this video was generated by ChatGPT. Before that, what is GPT? GPT or Generative Pretend Transformer is an artificial intelligence model that was developed by OpenAI, a research organization focused on AI and machine learning. It is a type of AI model that is trained to generate human-like text, just like the one I'm reading now. It can be also used for tasks such as language translation, language summarization, and text generation. GPT models are trained on large datasets of text and they use this training to generate new text that is similar in style and content to the input text. They are called generative models because they can generate new text and they are called pre-trained because they are trained on a large dataset before they are fine-tuned for a specific task. Now there are several versions of GPT as you know including GPT itself, GPT-2 and GPT-3. Well, ChatGPT is the large language model chatbot that is developed by OpenAI again and it is based on GPT-3.5. It has a remarkable ability to interact in conversational dialogue form and provide responses that can be surprisingly human. Large language models perform the task of predicting the next word in a series of words. Reinforcement Learning and Human Feedback RLHF, is an additional layer of training that uses human feedback to help ChatGPT learn the ability to follow direction and generate responses that are satisfactory to humans. A bit of the past. OpenAI was founded in 2015 by Sam Altman, Elon Musk and others with the goal of advancing and promoting friendly AI that benefits humanity. The organization conducts research in a variety of areas including natural language processing, machine learning and robotics. The first version of GPT was released in 2018. It was trained on a dataset of 8 million web pages and was able to generate human-like text in a variety of languages. GPT was followed by GPT-2 which was released in 2019 and was trained on a dataset of billions of web pages. GPT-2 was therefore significantly more powerful than its predecessor and was able to generate text that was more coherent and natural sounding. GPT-3 was released in 2020 and was trained on an even larger dataset of web pages. GPT and other AI models developed by OpenAI have a significant impact on the field of artificial intelligence and have been widely used and cited in the research community. OpenAI has also a number of tools and resources such as the GPT-3 API to enable developers and researchers to use its AI models to a variety of applications. Relation to Lambda Scale AI's Riley Goodside compared the responses generated from ChatGPT and Lambda. The former had responses reading almost like a Q&A platform compared to the latter which is friendly and in real terms conversational. There can be correlated to the fact that Lambda is trained on dialogues whereas ChatGPT is said to be highly trained on web texts. Further, OpenAI's conversational AI is also described by many to be producing shallow content almost as if prepared from Wikipedia. However, the AI also has been receiving much flack for various things including producing incorrect information, fake quotes and non-existing references. But however, that warning is already present there, isn't it? Well, I myself have tested this. I would rather disagree to a certain extent about the Wikipedia part. The model is very repetitive sometimes, producing the same basic definition more than one time. But at the same time, it produces a more organized reply which is given in several steps or points. It responds to follow-up questions and even designs code for me. So I started with something simple like a Java program to display all the even numbers. Now endless, isn't it? But it automatically defines a limit from 0 to 100. Look how impressively it writes the program. Now even better, it explains how the code works. Next time, I went for an input-based program, which was again handled beautifully. I tried to virtually enter an input, ChatGPT replied with the output and even described the reason for such an output. Next I went for something more complex, a GUI calculator in Java and then I asked it to show me an image which obviously it's a text generator so it showed me the image. But Lambda on the other hand carries an edge in this context because of the various metrics it produces in its responses. For example, the groundedness metric verifies the responses based on authoritative external source. Similarly, the quality metric measures the responses based on dimensions like sensibleness, specificity and interestingness SSI. 
that is it ensures that the responses make sense in the context that are asked or are non-generic and are also insightful unexpected or witty dali is another example of model that was trained to generate images from text description. It was introduced in 2021 and has been used to generate a wide range of images including photorealistic images and stylized in illustrations. ChatGPT can't produce images, it can only generate text, obviously because it is a text generator. Although both DALI and GPT are produced or developed by OpenAI and are related to AI and machine learning, but they are different technologies that are used on different purposes. Now, what is the future of GPT? The future of GPT and other AI models in the field of natural language processing is likely to be driven by advances in machine learning and the increased availability of large datasets. As AI models become more sophisticated and accurate, they are likely to be used for a wider range of applications including text generation, machine learning and language understanding. GPT and other AI models may also improve the performance of chatbots and virtual assistants, making them more intelligent and human-like. In the future, chatbots and virtual assistants powered by AI may also be able to understand and respond to more complex queries and conversation, and may also learn from user interactions to provide personalized experiences. Overall, the future of GPT and other AI models in chat and in natural language processing looks bright, with many exciting possibilities and opportunities on the horizon.